and welcome to another Justice video. Today, Katie and I are going to watch the official trailer for Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. We just have Me seen the, the little teaser as of right now. Yeah, and, and I will say too, I did catch a glimpse already of Gore because he's literally, oh. his pictures have been everywhere. Okay. And But I, I won't give my opinion on that yet. I'll wait until after the trailer because too, I also, you know, want to see how it actually feels, you know. Yeah, see, how it feels and yeah, unfolds yeah, within the trailer. Yeah, actually yeah. seeing Christian Bale do a little bit of acting, you know. Yeah, but with that, that said that that's really all all I know is just you know from what we got in the teaser which wasn't a whole lot a little bit of uh, tonage yeah. a little bit of, of Jane Foster getting Mjolnir yes. so that oh, was exciting yeah. and uh, unfortunately I did my entire like gore explanation in our last video and we got like nothing, nothing of him, of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well all right lots of questions lots of excitement I say without further ado we just jump into it see what we got let's hit it kids get to popcorn now let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. <laughs> when he got in shape, he went from dead bod <laughs> to god bod. <laughs> and after all that, <laughs> he reclaimed his title as the one and only Thor. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Jane? <laughs> the old ex-girlfriend. <laughs> What's it been like? Three? Four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months and six days. Give or take. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Am I, uh, sensing feelings? <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> The only ones who gods care about <gasps> is themselves. It is. So this is my vow. All gods will die. I just want to say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. <gasps> Never forget you first. <laughs> you are not like the other gods of Kion. You have something worth fighting for. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. <laughs> And flick. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you flick too hard, damn it! <laughs> Shall we help them? I mean, eventually. Great. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, that. Oh. What a great trailer. I feel like, uh, I feel like we definitely got a lot there. Yeah, we did. Oh my god, so right away we get a little bit of like a, a catch-up scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have Korg kind of catching us up where we've been, uh, where Thor has been rather, and you know, um, getting rid of the dad bod and getting back to his god bod. <laughs> <laughs> that was so great. That was a really cool way to open up the trailer too. And then, of course, it, uh, the, the story ends with uh, us re realizing again that, that he's not the only Thor Although I do have to point out like right here this moment and like one or two other moments th it did like scream holy green screen I don't know if that's just because it's a trailer when he's wearing the helmet yeah yeah it's like the helmet is so cheesy I kind of like it though her helmet is way better but actually this this brings up I wanted to mention right away aesthetically this movie looks incredible still I, I mean oh, I got, yeah I got oh, that from does. the last uh, teaser and th that totally shines through even more in this trailer so I'm um, I'm very, very excited to see it on the big screen. Yeah, it's very bright colors, you know, very, very 80s. Yeah, yeah. In a lot of I places. Love I love the style choices. Yeah. There's a lot of like old school looking Thor in this too, which I really like. And then of course, Jane Foster looks very, very comic book accurate with her suit. Mm -hmm. And I love the vibes with him, like where it's like, he, he's like, 
like overly in love with her <laughs> and she's like kind of yeah. just chill about everything <laughs> yeah. oh, what's it been three or four years yeah <laughs> the exact to the day <laughs> that's pretty great yeah so two okay i think it is time we talk about the elephant in the room for this trailer oh and gore the god butcher gore the god butcher right uh, okay a couple things i want to say right off the bat one he looks not as bad as I was expecting from the couple of pictures that I saw. Him, you know, acting out and then taking the hood off. That actually looked mm -hmm. pretty cool. And then hearing his voice, that was cool. Even, you know, when he said that line, um, you're different from the other gods I've killed. Like, I mm -hmm. felt the, the menacing vibes from that. Yeah. But I will say I am a little disappointed that he doesn't look like the alien from the comics. That's mm -hmm. the only thing. To, it, to me, he just kind of looks like a, a pale human rather than like the alien species that he is. You know, like the long like tentacle things coming off his head kind of like from star wars but they're even okay. longer yeah, and then he uh, honestly i'm not overly familiar with the actual okay. comic book gore the god butcher so for me oh, yeah. so just then, seeing yeah. it like this like i th i think he looks pretty awesome yeah and, like, okay the, the paleness almost reminds me of like the whole like kratos god of war thing oh yeah. where it's like the ashes of the people he cared about smeared on his face as his like reminder of his vow sort of i deal. like this perspective perspective and, yeah you know it, it definitely gives me very much that vibe especially with the character himself being out to kill the gods it's interesting that yeah. it reminds me of that i'll tell you what the, we did get some pretty cool footage of him we get to see what probably the famous necro sword i'm assuming because yeah. he's wielding it and it was like he was summoning it it just it looks very skinny and not the way i would have pictured but i also if it is the necro sword in the way we think it can take different forms i believe too yeah. So that's another thing is I was kind of hoping that like the necro sword would be like part of his robes that he has on like because you know it's supposed to work kind of like a symbiote but to you know like I've mentioned to you I have my doubts that a lot of this is actually going to connect in a big way like it used to I think a lot of these and I think that's why a lot of these after credit scenes are more about you know, their next film rather than giving us a tease to a big picture. Yeah. Basically what I'm saying is I don't know if Gore is going to be that connected to Null and, you know, the, the, the symbiote god and all that. And, you know, like I mentioned, w I did give my big Gore explanation in our last video. So I'll just play the clip right here just to, you know, give a, an explanation of who he is and where he comes from in the comics as well. So, yeah, Gore gets his power from the Necro Sword. The Necro Sword's original owner was Noel. And Noel, he is a really, really cool dark character as well. He's basically the symbiote god. He is the one who was here in in the in the very beginning before there was anything in the universe. There was there was only Noel in the darkness. And as soon as the cele the celestials came and started building things, he got super annoyed. He built the necro sword out of his shadow and just freaking he just decapitates one of the one of the celestials, mm -hmm. which would be really perfect because we know of a celestial head. Yeah, in, in the, nowhere. Yeah, 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 exactly. So yeah, that sword is super powerful because it holds a lot of, or at least it can siphon out a lot of Noel's power. He found two gods fighting on his planet after he had already given up on gods and had been exiled for giving up on gods for basically his life being compl in complete ruin, lost his family, everything. Mm -hmm. So these two gods he found fought, fighting, the, the dark one ended up being Null and he took the sword and started his journey as Gore. And started just, his rampage. <laughs> yeah, just slaughtering any god he could find throughout the, the universe. So yeah, there's just a, a brief little explanation of who Gore is and kind of his history in the comics and then where his sword comes from as well so like i said i don't know if they're going to really connect all of that to him because then they have to connect spider-man and venom yeah. which they haven't even connected themselves to each other yet so. yeah except for like one little you know after credits little yeah. easter egg sort of thing yeah. which you know you never know maybe they'll leave it open but i doubt they're going to give us any like big null connections in the movie at least yeah. this time i'm really i'm i'm, I'm bringing down my expectations and I'm just concentrating on the narrative they're putting in front of me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do with this film because yeah. it looks really I, good. I can see them doing at least like sort of a throwaway line mm -hmm. about it. Like when he's like, when they're talking about him and they just bring it up. Like, but I don't, I don't think, yeah, it'll be like this huge connecting plot. I think that, um, that image of him where 
it's actually color behind him. I think that's probably gonna be him on his home planet oh. before he takes the mantle. I think that's like him deciding to take that mantle of Gore the God Butcher. And then or I think when it shows him in these like black and white areas, I think that's him is like full on like no, Gore. I Although I can also sort of seeing it being like, you know, the whole villain monologue thing, like Thanos on Titan. Oh yeah. And it sort of shows behind him what it looked like before it yeah. got completely fucked. Yeah. I, he, I can see it sort of doing something like that where he's near, like talking about his home world before it got, you know, whoever. Uh, and that would be equally as interesting. Yeah. yeah. With a uh, Valkyrie, wasn't she last sort of like given sort of the crown of like, you rule Asgard now yeah. while I go off to space and yeah. get rid of my dad bod. Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder like what effect that's gonna have. Cause I know in the teaser we've seen her, you know, sitting there like at the council in the suit, mm -hmm. sort of like, but I wonder now she's going off on this journey with Thor again you know i wonder what, what that's about how that's gonna you know we, d we did things. see a, a a small scene of her fighting gore maybe yeah maybe he she's or aware of him or sees him or fights him first and then mm -hmm. is like yo guys there's like a god killer a god butcher on the rise and we gotta go get him yeah and you know what that giant beast thing with the the crystal like the rocks or crystals are on its back um that's dead and they're just sitting there like oh wow oh I yeah i wonder if that's like sort of like a god or like godly and like beast or something yeah. that he killed and she's just like she took thor to be like hey you know check this out we got something going on here like this is serious yeah yeah oh my god look what i'm noticing right here okay I gotta do the playback speed for us. Okay, so am I? Yes, Valkyrie is using one of is using one, one of, of Zeus's, Zeus's lightning, lightning bolts. Oh wow! Oh, see, I love it. He's like straight up black and white. And I, yeah, I love how any scene he's in, like he almost like steals the color out of, like yeah. any, like it's, and that's um, I think why that one moment where it is color behind him stands out so much. This is bringing up actually some questions. Do you think maybe the MCU might combine Null and Gore's characters into kind of one person? I don't know. It might just be... Because they, Null... They might like it might be sort of a thing where even if they don't combine their characters per se it might be a thing where like he doesn't just have Noel's sword it's like with the sword he has more connection with Noel, more yeah. powers of Noel. like yeah that sort of thing. yeah 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 essentially that's what i'm saying actually more is yeah like he almost takes the place of Noel's character yeah and what Noel's character represents in the comics so like Noel came from the darkness before there was anything in the universe yeah and that's what this black and white is just reminding me of it's just at least that vibe so maybe they'll have some Noel type of things connected in there in ways yeah. we didn't expect because you know with the whole and this is coming from like me who doesn't really know as much about Gore the God Butcher yeah. like it very much seems like he's almost like a champion of Noel in a way oh Oh yeah, that's another good way to put it. Yeah. Okay, so finally, I think we uh we got to talk about the flick. Oh, the flick. <laughs> yeah. Is that what he said? He said you, you, you flicked you, a little too hard yeah. there. <laughs> so yeah, we know that <laughs> this has to happen before Valkyrie fights Gore, mm -hmm. most likely because she has the lightning bolt. So maybe that's why they're here yeah. to come ask Zeus. For his lightning bolts maybe that they can help them fight in some <laughs> i feel like they're on like a little prissy jackson mission or something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah you know the, this looks great because too there's a lot of like guardians of the galaxy type humor we get a little bit of their character interactions in there too so mm -hmm. i think tone wise this movie is definitely look oh yeah i forgot i did see um a picture too pointing out that I know I'm like jumping all over the place here, but oh. I did see a picture too pointing out these these big um, these big heads in this room. Yeah, they all seem to so be. So is that that's the Watcher? It yeah. looks like. And is that Red Skull? After no, he's on I the... think that would be Death. Okay. Death Cause... plays a bigger role as like an as a cosmic entity. Okay. Interesting. Cause that, cause that looked like a uh, Red Skull after he was uh, on the. I can't think of the name of the planet, but the planet with the what is it? The Soul Stone. Red Skull could be Death. Maybe in this in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, I, I have heard that theory as well. But I really like the comic book version of Death because Thanos is in love with her. And <laughs> yeah. There's like that whole arc. And that's and... why he did the snap. Yeah, as, like, you know, a tribute to 
to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm happy that we, we did see this too. I did want to mention that these gods could play a part in this too. They could be Gore's like ultimate, his ultimate goal is to get these giant cosmic entities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm so excited. I love, I love Thor as a character. I love all the lightning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, just the tones that these films have taken, you know, just from the beginning, how it started and then direction it's gone in. I'm, I'm very excited and very happy that we get to see kind of goofy but fun adventure in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You yeah, know? like Taika Waititi has definitely left like a very good mark yeah. in the MCU. Like, oh, yeah. oh, he's, yeah. So yeah, let us know down in the comments below your thoughts and theories about this movie. Let us know too what you thought about Gore. Are, do you like his look or are you completely appalled and you wish he looked way more like a comic book accurate version of himself? Or are you like Katie here and you're not that aware of the comic book version so what is your opinion from that perspective mm -hmm. and also let us know your theories about what's actually going to happen in this movie and how it's going to impact the bigger mcu altogether or maybe it's not and maybe all of these films are just going to kind of exist in their own little bubble let us know your thoughts and theories down below and on that note check us out on instagram and twitter at justice band and on facebook at justice band music yeah and don't forget to check out our merch store at justiceband.com we got some great shirts some stickers we'd love for you to check it out we also have some music available as well we'll put all the links for that in the description below i hope everyone out there has an excellent week and until next time catch you on the flip Don't